Hey, happy Friday, guys. Um, I am going to go ahead and talk about the questions for the week. And I've been getting a lot of dating questions. And this is comical to me because I'm not like Ann Landers or like I don't even come from the camp of I kiss dating goodbye type of stuff. In fact, someone told me the other week that I should write a book on why I suck at dating. And that was the title. And then I laughed. And then I was really, really hurt inside because it's true. Like, I'm really bad at this. So I, I'm really depending on, like, comments and um, insights from other people. Hopefully, it can shed some light on this. Because two questions are very similar and yet really diverse. The first question, both of them were from Form Spring. Um, if someone from work asked me to go out for coffee, is that a date? And the second one, uh, should you have a confirmation before you go on a date with someone? Must you know that this person is the one um, before you go out for coffee? And one is at work and one is at church. And though they're still coffee dates, they're very different. Because within the church, like, the coffee date, the coffee invitation has turned into, like, the proverbial, like, lunch date or dinner date or something. And so it's really different. The person that wrote in about the work example, um, I asked for a little bit more insight on the situation. And it seemed really platonic. Like, it was just during work um, hours and, you know, several coworkers are going to go out for some coffee. I wouldn't necessarily say that was a date. But if someone comes up to you at church and asks you to go out for coffee, um... It's probably because they want to get to know you better. And so I did this series called Song of Solomon and, or Song of Solomon, um, and through the book Song of Solomon, I didn't write it or anything. And um, I spoke about this. And the premise for me now, I think, will come, um, we can safely say that, like, if two people go to coffee, there's other people to speak into this. There's other people that know about it. You know who this person is, their character, you trust them, and it's, it's, it's fine. And it's completely platonic. You're just getting to go to know someone, I would say that's okay. And I don't think you have to know that they're the one. In fact, a little personal story, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, why is like a dating, reason number one million and two, is um, when Matt and I first began uh, talking, he had emailed me to ask me if I wanted to go out for coffee. And, um, and then he called me because he is a man of initiative and that's the way it's supposed to be, but here I am like, whoa, what's going on? And so he had asked me for coffee and I had accepted over the phone. And then um, a couple days passed and it was, you know, b before we were gonna go eat coffee and I totally freaked out. And so I wrote him this really long email telling him like, you're a great man of God and I'm sure you have all these great things going for you and I'm just really busy and all this other stuff. And then I made him a lie as to why I couldn't go out for coffee with him. It was so bad, God forgive me. I know, I know, God has forgiven me. Um, and then I sent it and he replied back with one line. Okay, comma, but it's just coffee. Period. But let me tell you something. I felt like such a schmuck. I realized that there was this great emphasis on like, is this a marriage proposal? Beyonce says, if you like it, then you better put a ring on it. It's like, oh my gosh, it was all this pressure. I knew him. I checked out his Facebook pictures. I pecked out, you, you gotta do your research, people. Googled them the whole night, you know? I, I, that's what I did. And I realized that this is a great guy. And literally, it was just coffee. Open environment. My friends knew about it. His friends knew about it. And um, that one coffee um, encounter or, you know, date, if we will, um, turned into more dates. And um, to this day, that coffee date turned into a relationship with someone that I really care about. So please pour out your insights. Am I off the wall? Let me know. I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed to being off the wall. So if someone has some insight, I'd love to hear your take on it. I hope that helps a little bit. Don't put too much pressure on it. Like Matt said, it's just coffee. Thanks. Have a great weekend.